Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you for stopping by to catch a buzz with your cuz. If you're new here, please subscribe, ring the bell. You got a lot to catch up on, but I promise you it's worth it. Um, for everybody else, again, welcome back. It's another great week. It's a wine week. You know, hashtag wine, hashtag winning, uh, hashtag subscribe, whatever. Still thinking about summer a little bit. Um, it's warm, it's cold, it's, it's whatever it is near you. But uh, one of the things that always kind of transports me back is Italian wines, especially from one of my favorite regions, Tuscany. What do I have today? Da Vinci Chianti. This is a 2019. Now the first thing everybody thinks of is Leonardo da Vinci. Congratulations. Uh, that is his name. And that is a representation of works that he would have done. Now, Da Vinci simply means of Vinci. Da is of, Vinci is a town in Italy, right outside of Florence. Okay, so it's a Tuscan region, great for wine. So many great wines come from that area, from uh, the Tuscan region, and all around Florence. This one's a little special, it's a little bit unique. Why? It's a Chianti, all right? Now, Chianti, and I've said this before, but if you're new here, um, Chianti is not a grape. Chianti is a town in Italy. They name wines in Italy usually after the towns they're created from, not the actual grape. So in France, if you have a Cabernet Sauvignon, that's the grape, it's a, it's a Cabernet grape. There is no Chianti grape, this is Sangiovese. Uh, specifically, this wine is 90% Sangiovese and 10% Merlot, which you might be a little bit more familiar with. Both are outstanding fruit wines, uh, I mean, fruit forward, uh, wine uh, that uh, you can pretty much enjoy with any dish. So let's go ahead and, uh, and get this thing open. Well, actually, before we do that, this is uh, has the DOCG label on it. Let's let that come into focus there. Here we go, DOCG label. You can scan this or put that number in. They know exactly where these grapes were picked, how many, what number of the wine this was bottled, um, it's a protected region. It's one of the things that um, Italy does really well is uh, protect its, uh, its treasures or its exports so that uh, they can't be misrepresented. Uh, really good 13.5% um, alcohol. Um, one of the other things I'll say, Town of Vinci, this is not an old winery. This is not hundreds of years old. I think they started in 1961. It was a group of like 30 or so uh, local farmers that uh, did something that also Italians do really well, which is share. So they did some crop sharing. Today, I think they have over 200, uh, you know, different farmers and, and regions in which they are, they are able to, uh, you know, share their grapes. But uh, let's go ahead and, uh, and open this thing up, the top off here. Are you back? I think you nodded off. Um, no, actually, I think the, the camera just kind of glitched out there for a moment. So our, a bottle is open. I'm sorry you missed the big. You know everybody loves to, uh, you know, to remove the the cork from the bottles. But uh, I have my trusty wine glass here. We're gonna get some in there. I just did a no-no. I touched the bottle to the glass. Oh well. Uh, maybe we'll edit it out, but I doubt it. So uh, there we are. We have a nice. You can see it's kind of an intense ruby color. Had to smell that American oak. So this is aged in American oak, which I thought was interesting. Most Italian wines will use European, like Sol uh, Sylvanian or, or French oak. This is American oak, so they're a little bit newer as far as uh, their technology. I think they ferment in, um, in uh, uh, metal containers first. So they're, they're using a lot of the uh, you know, newer state-of-the-art type technologies, but it's got a really nice color, a nice alcohol rim there. You can kind of see it through there. Look at that, very pretty. Yeah, definitely get the oak. I'm getting a little bit of, uh, you know, fruity jam. Italian wine's really great expressions of fruit. That's uh, what they like. They're not really there to hit you over the head with the grape, um, but it's more about allowing the flavors of the subtle nuances to come forward. So uh, with that, I'm going to, uh, to give, this a, uh, give this a sip. Again, the crimson looks great. Uh, if you're not 21 or of legal drinking age in whatever municipality you live in or viewing, don't sip it, but I'm going to do that for you right here. Mm, it's a 
a little peppery finish. Mm. Getting cherry. There's definitely cherry in here. Perhaps plum. Maybe it's plum and cherries we're getting with a slight peppery finish. It's actually very, very well balanced. It's kind of a medium wine. So again, you know, it, it's hot region. Um, they don't really like the, the heavy flavors. So this is very fruit forward, very well balanced. Um, you know, medium tannins, so it's not very bitter. The wine legs, which prove again that there's alcohol in there, are, are looking nice. Mm. I could see this really pairing well with pizza, pasta, you know, red sauce, maybe even uh, light cheeses, and definitely light red meats, maybe even uh, lamb or pork, probably more appropriate. Would probably stay away from the seafood with this. But this would be really nice to have on the table. Be great to take to a party. You may even want to use this maybe as part of a sangria to kind of give it a little bit more body. I like this. And uh, this thing, uh, this bottle only cost me uh, like 10 or 12 bucks. So an outstanding value uh, from a pretty well-known region of Italy. This is the Da Vinci Chianti. It's a 2019. Um, actually on the bottle, it does say ripe fruit and hints of fresh strawberry and plum. I got cherry out of it. So uh, I guess I stand correct that I should have read the label. But again, please uh, share this video. Like it, comment below. Do you like Chianti? Have you heard of Chianti? Would you like to go to Tuscany? I don't know. Please comment below. We'll see you next week. Something really great coming. Don't want you to miss it. Until then.